we're Pharaoh. Hey. And we're Astro, Astro Black. Black. Hey. And we're here in Minnesota kicking off the Cedar Manima residency. Yes. Yeah, yeah. excited about it. Springtime, baby. <laughs> <laughs> we're headed to Sisterhood Boutique. Welcome, sister. Hey. Hi. When we were created Sisterhood, we were like, oh, we want to create a program that's like for girls that caters to like women empowerment, that kind of thing. Yeah, and the clothes here are all donation, thrift store, um, and all the money we make and all the profit goes back into the youth program. Hello. The sisterhood needs a boutique. Yeah. yeah. This is it. Transitioning in between the songs. Um, You know, even though we didn't get to grow up in Somalia, that coming to Canada was a blessing. And even in that, we're, we get to still identify as Somali women. I just feel the, the commonality, even with the Somalis that maybe came here more recently, and even with us that came, you know, just a, a long time ago, it's still that that internal struggle of, of trying to hold on to your culture, but still trying to find out who you are within this new culture. We're about to open a conversation and we're gonna do it through dance. And I want you to think more about the notion how similar we are than different. You know, even other young Somali women and girls that cover up that are like a little confused about like, where's my place here? And we can really relate to them because we actually covered up in high school. Even though we come from different cultures, I know that even for you guys, there's some things that you know you guys uh, struggle with, maybe just like as women, or just like just trying to be like your authentic selves. experienced a like, gender inequality and certain um, bias requirements that they would not give men that they gave you guys like you guys can just touch on that a little bit well I think just like being in in the studio and um, just in the studio with just a lot of like men it's always like men male engineers male producers and uh, I feel like um, Somali men in general are like really afraid of the word feminism. Mm -hmm. And for the Somali men in here, if you would like to speak up and say something, nice. they're real quiet. <laughs> <laughs> if we don't assert ourselves, we're then looked at as weak. Like we don't know what we want. Oh, go down, don't mother. Like, oh, he's a man, so she doesn't have a brain. And then when we do assert ourselves, you're too confident, you're too arrogant. So it's like we can't really, and it's especially the generation I'm growing up with right now. They will tell you, oh, feminism, subhanAllah, why are you gonna uh, claim feminism? It's, it's for white women. No, we were, 1400 years ago, we were feminists. I think when you come from your heart and you're like, no, no, this is not just like a, a trendy topic, like feminism, girl power, no, this is for literally my, my, my mental health, yeah, so. I would just like to, you know, thank everyone. Yeah. Should we hold hands? Yeah. Okay, I'm down for it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Here, I got you, don't worry. Yeah. Deep breath.
chasing the air and wind. I've been fanning the spot, and you're still waiting, but you call me lost, lost. Don't call me lost, I ain't lost, cause I know where I'm going, just don't know how I went. Yeah, I'm working the lobby, but I'll be up in the pen. Feels like the first of the month, feels like I'm about to get paid. You think I'm going in circles, but trust me, I'll find my way. Don't call me lost. Um, does is, anyone meditate? Yeah, does anybody meditate? I, I said it's so simple because sometimes... Like, what moment or like moments in life make you say, like, I can really do this and make you, like, really keep going? It could be someone who's in a completely different culture from your culture, but they hear your music and they can still relate to it. But also at that time, it was, um, it wasn't the safest to go there and also try to shoot a video. Hi, Lyle. Thank you. Sorry, you guys are all so beautiful, honestly. <laughs> we are currently in Minneapolis, Minnesota in the cutest bookshop called the Moon Palace. And um, it's cool. We're recording our first live podcast with guests here. But shout out to y'all for doing this and creating this platform and doing all this much needed work out here and healing and yeah. Thank you. I'm excited to be on here. As yeah. Well. Thank and you. you guys are here doing yeah. the work with us. Yeah. And we appreciate y'all. You guys give us energy. Yeah. But essentially, like, I'm not in line with what I'm supposed to be doing, right? And so I go see y'all, and then I come here, and I'm hearing this, and I'm like, I think I'm supposed to, like, hear this, because what I really want is to write. People end up living for their parents. You know, they get the job their parents want them to get, and then all of a sudden, they're just like, I can't do this. Everybody has a breaking point, yeah. but you don't have to get to your breaking point to decide, yeah. you know? We have a special person tonight at the Sierra Culture Center, Supermodel Halimo is in the house too. Shut
Yeah.